hello everyone welcome back to my channel this is creative s international so today i chose to come up with this very simple fascinator i'm just going to be doing a very quick explanation on this fascinator and i know that you are going to like it so we are working with dog feather hat wire is what is in my hand just that i've wrapped it already using thread all right so normal hat wire okay flexible one do not go for too strong you can see the one i have is this copper color uh wire so i'll use scissors and then i'm going to do some trimming on my dog feather this dog feather is used for arm fan as well so don't be confused about it is the arm fan feather that is used uh latestly um recently i'm sorry is the arm fan feather used recently for uh uh, making and fan okay so we can come up with different things from this particular feathers okay so straight up i'm just going to trim it to give it a triangular look all right i need that uh sharp edge the triangular uh sharp edge all right so i need it okay so that is what i have i'm just going to give it a very short uh cut okay so i'm just going to cut it by the middle so you can do this without uh having to cut with your scissors okay you can just use your ends to separate the middle and then you get this shape out so we'll just be cutting out several of it i'm i'm going to be missing the gold with the black okay so i'll just cut out uh for each of the design i'll be having uh three black and uh three gold okay so i'm just going to try to place it um uh in a in a star shape okay so it looks like a star so i'm just going to place it in a star shape one thing i have to advise is that you really really have to be careful with these feathers you have to like try as much as possible for it not to break uh, as in crack okay so you have to really really be careful with it so we place it like this after placing it like this we just range all the black down i'm just going to be making about four black and four gold you know so it means that uh for every for the black i need about 12 uh dog feathers and then uh for the gold as well i also need about 12 uh dog feathers all right but the way i'm going to combine is different i'm not going to like uh join all the gold and then later come and join all the black and then start fixing it together no i'm going to like finish uh fixing the black i just join all the black three uh together three to make a uh three to make one um uh, um i don't know what was the right word now that is three in one yeah i'm going to join it three in one just the way you see this is the shape i want to form you can form other shapes as well so then after that i would be using the gold feather on the open space the open space you don't just place it anyhow okay so that's why i did not uh finish fixing the gold then i come and place the gold on the black no i look at it and then i start fixing it on the open space you can see this feather with me is cracked but I'm just going to use it like that. But it's not ideal that it should be cracked. So that's why I advise that you be very careful uh, with it, okay? So that you don't break the, the feather. If you break the feather, it's going to alter uh, the beauty of your work. And you don't want that to happen. So we cross it like this, okay? So we have, um, remember we are using hot glue. And one thing I chose to put close to myself was to have a water by my side so that when I'm trying to like uh, touch it for it to cool, it will not be sticking to my hands and now start uh, making my work rough. So I have water by my side, just that the bowl of water is not showing, but I have a bowl of water by my side that I used to just touch my fingers and then I just press down the part I want to sit, okay? so we continue i'm just preparing uh four four set of it and then we'll go ahead and style so yeah welcome to my channel if today is your first time stopping by 
uh, creative ends international i just want to welcome you right you are welcome to this platform on this channel we do everything that has to do with ed fashion ranging from auto gilly to band fascinators and all sorts of um ed embellishment uh, um um what should i ed, ed embellishment um peace you know ed peace yeah so that's the right word so you you stay tuned to us i encourage you to please subscribe to our channel and one more thing please hit on the notification bell so that you can get notified whenever i upload new videos all right thank you so much for joining this community god bless you so we go ahead now i just wrap my princess band uh i i use the reflective black uh because i just wanted to add a kind of uh extra beauty to the work so if you don't want to wrap nothing bad but the wrapping is going to help you when you try to fix your art wire to the band so if you are just using the plain band without anything you use the wrapping it it might be difficult for you to try to sew on it and your sewing not on it might leave some kind of a breakage on the uh, band directly so i would advise that you try as much as possible to wrap wrap it so that it will give you a basis for you to like sew on it's going to give you a platform or a foundation that you are going to be sewing on comfortably comfortably i mean all right so i have taken what i want the pattern okay some persons might want to ask me what's the length of this art wire Okay, so uh, for the length of the art wire, actually, you can do 20. Okay, you can do 20, you can do 25, depending on the curve that you are expecting to get. Okay, so the length is not really like a fixed length, but you can do 20, you can do 25. Okay, depending on the curve, the wave or design that you are looking out for. Okay. And then to wrap it, there's this uh, thread they call, um, is this satin thread? Um, I don't know. I'm trying to think. I think it's satin thread. It's reflective. It's beautiful. It's different from the ordinary thread. So you can use it to wrap because it's going to bring out the work uh, more. All right. It's going to add extra uh, beauty to your work. So right now you can see that I'm actually fixing uh, the art wire to the headband all right there's something i did not do in this video that i would be encouraging you to do and that is for you to uh, uh add uh elastic to the uh to the to the princess band yeah add elastic it's going to make it sit properly okay this will sit on the head but if the if the person who wears it goes about dancing and getting too busy it can just fall off the head so for it to be well secured and uh, well seated on the head i actually advise that you please fix your elastic on it on this very video i did not fix the elastic all right i know that when i explain you'll be able to fix the elastic so i did not fix the elastic so we're just going ahead to look at how best we want this wire to be sitting all right what do we want what do i want to see what am i looking out for okay do i want to coil it continuously do i need any part of it to like um point up or point down all these are decisions that you have to make as you work with the process and of course if you've already made a decision oh i want this part to be pointing up or pointing down and by the time you place it that way you find out that's not the beauty is not really coming out the way you want it you can just go ahead and change it okay so you can see how my own is i have a part that is really really like uh facing up all right i have two circles attached to it and straight up i'm just going to start to fix the feathers to it okay so when i in short the first feather i fixed on it i was already satisfied okay i just it's so simple so simple and cute like this i like it like this 
I, if it's for only me, I'm not really sure I'll go ahead to start adding any other thing. I just love it like this. I love it with this very single uh, feather design. It came out so uh, nicely. It's unique in my own eyes, all right? So I really, really love it. But just for the purpose of the completion of this video, I went ahead and used the remaining uh I went ahead and used the remaining three. If not, I would have just been done with this one seriously. So what we are doing actually is every part where we joined this um, art wire to make sure it's curved all right and it's retaining is a uh, design. We are just going to be placing the uh, feathers on those spots all right so that uh, every of our uh, rough work all right in those uh, portions or those particular places would be covered okay so that's just it okay so on the very edges of this uh two uh the edges of the uh wire i'm also going to be placing the last two um um feathers on it okay so the la the top edge is going to carry one and then the bottom uh, edge also is going to carry one. Though it's still as it's still beautiful uh, like this anyway. But you know, you if you look at uh, if you want something simple and gorgeous, I just love that first uh, placement of the feathers, and then we we'll just leave it like that. It's so simple, but yet it's um it's unique. All right, it's unique. So this is three. We are just going to have the last one on the uh, last um edge of the art wire and then after we we are done with that we go ahead to uh, attach some uh, form of embellishment in forms of um in forms of stones okay so you get some of these uh, stones in the market embellishment are so expensive wallahi they are so expensive so we get some stones and just fix by the middle okay it's just going to give us some kind of reflection on that middle and also it's going to make the the feathers to like um be somehow outstanding and that will be boom we're done so imagine you wearing this headpiece so beautiful so unique very easy um raw materials to use so the materials used you can easily source for them and uh, they are affordable i mean so it's easy for you to to get them it's easy for you to create your own headpiece after you finish watching this video and you can even do something uh more outstanding than what you are seeing now all right so thank you so much if you enjoyed um this video if you enjoyed this video do well to subscribe to our channel do well to subscribe to this uh, channel and then hit on the notification bell and um, again if you feel you have any questions concerning this video uh, please just drop it on the comment section i promise to respond to it the moment i see them okay I will respond to it as fast as possible so please do well to subscribe and then i will see you in my next video all right so from my end to be bye do have a nice day stay safe bye